The IWMF was founded nearly 30 years ago, and the objective of the organization is to elevate the role of women in the news media. To do that, we not only recognize women in the news media, be they journalists, producers, leaders, um, in any role that they play, but we also try to give them the tools that they need to become leaders in the news media. We really believe that the diversity of voices is critically important in producing and telling news stories. And with more women in the news media, that expands that diversity. And with more women in leadership, we believe that it will likely play a role in how the news is told and what is determined to be news. The has conducted a global study on the status of women in the news media, and it's one of the few global research studies out there on this subject. Unfortunately, we really hope that it will be replicated and updated soon. But what we have found is that around the world, there are uh, there's a glass ceiling in every country in the world, and depending on where you are determines where that glass ceiling is. Regardless, that glass ceiling in every country exists for the very highest levels of the news media. Why is that? It's very hard to determine exactly why that may be. Most people point to uh, old boys network that keeps women out of the news media. They point to an unfriendly climate for women in the news media, be it to uh, have a full life in raising families or as we see today, the climate of extreme hostile sexual harassment that exists in the news media is one that cannot be denied. Um, and hopefully that will be addressed soon. Regardless, uh, as I said, women need to be at every level of the news media in order for the media to be effective. There are some media organizations that um, put a high stake in diversity at the highest levels. And research has shown that those companies do better. And so if not for general equity and fairness sake, then there's absolutely an economic reason to have more women at all levels of the news media. We do reporting trips for women journalists, which take journalists to various countries in the Great Lakes region of Africa, in Central and Latin America, Places that are really, really difficult to work from. There are security risks. We cover all of the security protocols. We do security training. And we believe that these uh, trips not only uh, provide a view into these countries that otherwise would not be known, but also give women these very hard to get bylaws. Now, when they sign up and want to do an international story, they have something to point to. They have that experience where previously they were being passed over. Also, we are providing grants for women journalists. As we see journalism move into this gig economy where there are more and more freelancers, where media organizations aren't uh, willing or able to pay for investigative pro projects or international projects, the IWMF is stepping in and providing grants to women uh, very broadly defined for whatever project they want to propose to us. And that is also giving women the opportunity to create a body of work. Some of them have been award winners. Uh, they've been published certainly in every media organization that you can imagine. And so by providing these opportunities that aren't existing on the ground for women, uh, we hope to elevate women's voices and women journalists all over the world.